Hi there, it's DJ B, and in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about pricing your artwork and giving you a little bit of a background on what my artwork sells for. I think this is really valuable information. Before Model Horses, I was a traditional artist, so I understand the complication that comes with pricing your artwork and selling it to somebody else. It's a really difficult thing to do. We create the piece, we feel very attached to the piece, and setting a price on it we want to get what we feel it's worth because we are emotionally attached to the piece of artwork because not everybody is going to feel the same about your work some people are going to really appreciate it and give you exactly what you want some people are going to lowball you it's a very abstract thing because people pay for your name it's almost like brand name shopping the more that people know who you are they want your work in their house if nobody knows who you are and you're just kind of putting work out there generally you're not going to get a lot of interest but the more you build your name and your brand the more you can sell your stuff for and the more sought after your stuff becomes i've really noticed that with models specifically uh, as my account has grown and as my follower count has grown I've been receiving a lot more recognition than previously but I didn't always sell models for such high prices I started with no one knowing who I was I did have an Instagram account for my traditional artwork I said yo I'm making models but I really didn't get follower count from that specific account so I think the best rule of thumb is just to look at other artists other artists you admire how much do they sell their work for so it's a very a biased thing and it's what you feel your work is worth but also what the market is saying your work is worth. Just to get kind of an idea, my very first custom I ever did was this Beethoven Omer. A stable mate is normally two to five dollars to buy. I listed her at fifty dollars and somebody did in fact buy her. So I didn't start at the top. I wasn't making a killing right away. It was a very gradual process and I had a couple flops. I painted this little paint full and she only sold for $35. Granted, she was quite small, so I didn't want to charge a whole lot for her. There was not a lot of work that went into her, so I felt like $35 was fair. That's like the price of a traditional briar. I sold this black Sabino, which I really liked, but he only sold for $25. So this stablemate, Appaloosa Pony, sold for $82, but my pair of dressage horse sold for $68. So it's completely different, and it depends on the situation and who's interested and whether it's listed on eBay or model horse sales pages. A little side note is that I do sell my models in US dollars. I live in Canada. The reason I sell my models in US dollars is because the market is in US dollars. In order for me to buy bodies and resins and other horses for my collection, I need US dollars. It works in my favor right now because the Canadian dollar is really terrible. Just an example of that changes constantly, but if I was to sell a model for $50, I would get 66 Canadian. But normally I like to just keep the money in my PayPal, use it to refuel into the hobby, buy art supplies, buy extra models, resins, whatever I need. So generally speaking, I like to list all of my models on Model Horse sales pages. You get a lot of traction there. I list them frequently on my Facebook and my Instagram so that the followers all get them. And I also send out an email in my mailing list to make sure that everybody knows that they're for sale. Generally speaking, I can sell things off Model Horse sales pages. I like to sell them from there. So any money I make is completely going to me eBay charges a fee, so if you list your model on eBay, they will take a percentage when the model sells. So I don't love to use eBay, but I've used eBay a couple times and eBay has worked in my favor. If I find I can't sell the model well or I just want to see the model go into a bidding war, list it on eBay. It's really exciting. Because this Bay Django, which is the most expensive stable mate I have sold, sold for 150 US dollars. And that was on eBay, which is a lot for what he was, but that was a popular mold, so it was a business choice, it was a marketing choice. A lot of model horses is marketing and business. It's not just painting horses and throwing them online and selling them. You have to understand what's popular, what's in, what's now. An interesting thing though that did happen was I sold a couple of re-sculpts. I had this particular one which I named Dylan. I listed them at set prices on Instagram and he sold for 110 This custom Pinto Morgan Mare sold for 100 and so did this Appaloosa Pair Dressage custom. They're a little bit different because they are re-sculpted so they're not just a repaint. You can get a little bit more. So generally for stable mates I started selling them in the 30, 40, 50 dollar range and I worked up from there and I said if I paint an Appaloosa I could sell it for 60. If I paint a really complicated Appaloosa I can sell it for 75. So it really varies and it really depends who's interested. Some of my work stays up forever. <laughs> like this chestnut Asafino, I could not sell this horse. I don't know why. 
I ended up selling him for $40, I think, so he didn't sell for very much. Some work didn't even have to list it, and there was people like jumping on. Now, in traditional scale work, things get a little more hazy because the work is a lot bigger. There's a lot more money going around for these customs. I've done a total of eight traditional customs, I believe, and I've sold seven of them. So I currently only own one. I painted this Smart Chicolina to a blue-brown paint. Now he was really nice, he had a lot of traction, a lot of people interested in him. I tried listing him on eBay, he didn't sell. I ended up listing him at $275 and somebody bought him for that price. Not a great profit for the amount of work that went into that model, but the sculpture wasn't great. There was nothing I did to change the mold or make him anything spectacular. He just had kind of a cool paint job. He wasn't worth $400. I feel like the amount of time I put into my custom work, I will sell it for $300. I won't be bummed if it doesn't sell, but I say it's worth $300. So for my traditional customs, I like to open them for offers. And the reason I do this is for one, they're not on eBay, so I don't lose a percentage of the income. Two, gives everybody a fair opportunity to get in on my customs because I post a lot about them and I have a lot of interest. And so when people are like, is it going to be for sale? I'm like, yes, it will, but it's not a set price. It'll be open for offer. Maybe a week, two weeks, a month, however long I decide. It works in a way that is sort of like eBay so that the price can crawl up as the time goes on. So your work has the opportunity to make a little more than you initially anticipated. So if I was to list this lady phase and say, yeah, $300, I feel like that's fair. Sell it for $300. Okay, cool, but somebody could have offered a ton more. And that's exactly what happened. Lady Face was listed at 300. She sold for 500 US dollars. That's a lot of money. The Marari was a little less extravagant. He was listed at 300 as well. He sold for 350. Molly was listed at 300. She sold at 300. So it's completely up to the people, but that was the interest that they had. For this Giselle custom that I painted, she's just a basic custom. I really liked her. I kept her for a while and then I decided I would take $400 for her. So I listed her for offers at that price. She sold for 650 US dollars. I was happy with that. That felt like an accomplishment. Now the two most expensive customs that I have ever sold are my Rian and Cadell Marinful. So these are the Premier Club models that came out. And this was my business plan. Invest into the Premier Club, purchase these models as they're just coming out. Everybody's really excited about them paint them as fast as I can and then sell them. And this business plan worked in my favor. <laughs> so these models were worth about $150 to buy. Originally for this Appaloosa baby, I said, I think he's only worth, I don't know, $175. He's kind of small. He's Appaloosa, so it's a little intricate. And that was what I was gonna list him at starting price. I had a friend come over and say, don't undersell yourself. This horse is worth way more than that. I'd say he's worth about 300. Well, I guess I'll try and list him at 300. See what happens. So I did, listed him at 300. This horse took me four hours to paint. He sold for 650 US dollars. Now the Rion I had painted and I wasn't totally sure I wanted to sell her. She turned out really nice. I really liked the way that she turned out. And I had someone contact me and say, I'll give you $550 for her and I can pay for her tomorrow. First of all, she was going to a show like the next day. So I wasn't in a position to ship her or sell her that in that moment. For two, I had like a ton of people inquire on this model and I was like, I want everybody to have a fair chance. So I declined the $550 offer and said, look, like that's really generous. I really appreciate it. I'd like to list her at offers and start her at the 550, see where she goes because I've had so much interest in her. I listed her for offers on model her sales pages at 550 starting offer and she sold for 950 US dollars. I cannot believe it. I don't know if she's worth that much, but that's how much somebody felt she was worth. That being said, I have grown a lot and I've been painting models for two years. It took me two years to be able to sell a singular model for 950. Will it happen again? I can't say. The model horse thing is kind of flaky. There's people that are willing to spend money on that and the more I build my name and my brand, I believe that I can sell my work for that but I don't think it's gonna happen every time. I don't think I'm gonna list your traditional custom every few months and get 950 US for it. It's shown in my numbers that it's not consistent. It completely depends on the custom, on the time of year, on who's interested, who sees it, who doesn't see it. 
sort of a situation. So I think when you're pricing your work, you really have to do your research. You really have to understand your market. You have to know what's popular. I say if you're like not sure you want to sell it, throw it up for offers, see what you get. You don't have to sell it if you don't get an offer that you appreciate. But that's why I start my offers at a price that I would feel comfortable just selling the horse flat out for. And then if they go up from there, it's just bonus. I think you have to be really realistic and look at your work with a really analytical position and say this is the amount of time it took, this is the amount of resource it took, and you're not always going to get what you feel like it's worth. Art is like that. We spend so much time on art and art is such a big portion of our lives and it takes so much time and at the end of it you're probably not going to get what you put into it. I would say start low, see what happens, feel it out. If you're listing your model and it's not selling, lower the price. If you're not quite established yet, don't sell your models for $300 right out the gate. Sell them for a little bit lower. Step up into your levels of sale. Hopefully this helped give you some insight on how much my work is sold for, how I sell my work, and what is the best way to go about it. It's completely subjective, it's all personal, it's what you feel. I've had people ask me to appraise their work. I can't appraise work. I don't know how much time you put into it. I don't know how emotionally invested you are in it. So I don't want to insult you and say your horse is only worth $100 when you feel it's worth $500. So list it for $500. If it doesn't sell, it's not worth $500. My work is consistently sold because I'm very realistic about the price point. I say I, I've watched the market. I know how much these models sell for. Mine is kind of at this level. As it grows, it'll be at a more advanced level but I'm not there yet. I can't charge $1,000 a custom. Nobody will buy it. Thank you so much for watching and happy selling your work. Please subscribe for weekly Wednesday uploads. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at DJB Studios. Check out my website and sign up to my newsletter to be the first to know about commissions, tutorials, and sales pieces. All of the tools used in this video are in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to message me.